Hey guys, this is the NT Gamer. Welcome to a Manchester United career mode. So guys, in this series, we will be trying to take Manchester United back to their glory days, uh, uh, and also we will be playing almost all of the games. So first, let's take a look at the team. We have got uh, Edinson Cavani on that uh, striker spot. For the striker spot, first season will be the same, and in the second season, then if we need someone who can be a bit better than the players we've got, uh, the, uh, the two players we have got, then we'll bring them. But for the first season, the striker spot will be the same. And for the camp spot, obviously, we have got Bruno Fernandes, who will be the crucial player in the series. In the midfield also, Scott McTominay, Fred, again, maybe some improvements have to be made here. And on the right-hand side, we've got Mason Green with a very good young talent, but obviously has in real life, Man United are looking to bring in a right winger. We will be also looking to bring in a right winger. And Marcus Rashford on that left-hand side. Luke Shaw has a left-back. And centre-back, uh, maybe we'll be looking to bring in someone to partner. Maguire. And uh, one Bissaka at right-back. And uh, in goal, guys, I know this is a big debate. But for me, it's clear, guys. David De Gea starts with Dean Henderson in this series. So, for for now, we'll keep David De Gea in goal. And we'll see how he does. And in the bench, obviously, we've got Pogba. Matic, James, Henderson and in the reserves we've got Van de Beek, a very good player who will be playing more often in this series. Uh, so now first let's directly get into transfer business. So here are the some players we will be looking to sell that so, so that we can free up some cash as well as wages. The players who are old and some players who have low I'm looking to loan out the younger players so that the development does not take a step back. So for the centre back and right midfield spot, we will be looking to sign these two players in Jaden Sancho and Milan Skriniar. Jaden Sancho has been linked to Man United in real life as well, and his deal is also getting closer to Man United, so it makes sense we sign him. And for centre back spot, we'll be signing Milan Skriniar, 25 years of age. He's got good stats and he can be a very good centre back. But he, he can form a very good centre-back partnership with Harry Maguire. But the only problem is these two players are very expensive. So first we'll be looking to sell some players. As, we, as I showed you guys, we've transferred some players. So, and loan, uh, looking to loan out some players. So we'll be selling this player first. And then we'll be signing the two main targets. So we were not getting... Any offers for the players who we have transfer listed? So what I thought was to make this centre back signing first, and then once we make this signing, then we go for the Jaden Sancho signing. So let's see, can we make this deal happen? So there you go. We have signed Milan Skriniar from Inter Milan for about 90 million. Uh, his valuation was 75.5 million. Now which has come down to 71 million, which is quite weird. But anyways, we have signed Milan Skriniar from Inter Milan. So just to let you know all, I am playing on world class difficulty and next season, which is season 2, we will be playing on legendary. For the, so for the first season, we will be playing on world class difficulty. So let, let's get in the first game of the season, which is versus West Ham and let's see, can we get 3 points to start the season in a good way. There he goes, Bruno Fernandes, tries to find Anthony Marshall but finds Marcus Rashford on that left hand side. Here's Pogba. Pogba cuts it inside, goes for the finish shot and can hit it. Now it's a penalty in the 14th minute and Paul Pogba earns the penalty. Let's see, can we score it? So I'll be taking this with Bruno Fernandes and I'm going top right corner. Let's see, can he put it in? And well, he can. And we have taken the lead in the first game of the season by via penalty from Bruno Fernandes and it was Paul Pogba who did win that and 1-0. Let's go. Here's Pogba. Pogba shoots and Pogba scores and we have 2-0 versus West Ham in 20 minutes itself. It was a beautiful long ball from Van Bissaka and Pogba scores and what a goal from the Frenchman to give us the two-goal lead in the London Stadium. Here's Miguel Antonio on the attack, finds Jesse Lingard, the Man United loney, and Jesse Lingard scores against us. The Manchester United player on loan to West Ham 
scores against us in the stoppage time of the first half and runs directly to David Moyes to celebrate the goal. Yes, Kufal on the attack for West Ham, finds Declan Rice and finds Pablo Fonas but well defended by Milan Skriniar to get the ball away and it's Paul Pogba on the attack, finds Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford got the pace, gives to Fernandes, Clanthony Marshall and can he score? Yes, he can and we have made it 3-1 to a against West Ham and what a goal by Anthony Martial it was a beautiful pass from Paul Pogba to find Marcus Rashford and then it was all Bruno Fernandes pass to Anthony Martial let's go Cresswell scores for West Ham United from nowhere it was a long range uh, kick by Declan Rice I suppose and it hit the post and then fell perfectly to Cresswell and West Ham United has now one goal behind so for with this guys I'm going to make some defensive changes so that we don't uh, lose three points we could get here so I'm going to bring on Fred for Paul Pogba uh, so that he can give us the defensive stability and let's see can we get through this game Yes, and Michael Antonio gets through my defence and David De Gea with a brilliant save to deny West Ham a goal and possibly a draw for them. What a save by the Spaniard. Maybe with one last attack for West Ham to equalise, we have got to defend it well. It's Declan Rice, can Milan Skriniar defend it? Yes, he does and that should be it for us. And that should give us three points in the first game of the season. Yes, that gives us and the game is done. 2-3, a hard fought victory. But guys, we've got the three points, which is the most important thing. So, we, we got to draw versus Palace. I actually quick sim that game, thinking that we will, we will be getting three points easily. But we actually drew the game and I forgot to record that part as well. So, apologies from my part. So, that's it for today's episode of the Man United Career Mode. Next episode, guys, we will be playing Everton, Arsenal, Sheffield United and Haswell. We will be starting our Champions League journey versus Leipzig and also we will be making the Jaden Sancho transfer happen in the next two, uh, episode. So thank you for watching. If you guys liked my video, drop a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel and I'll catch you guys next time.